Hello and welcome to another HTML5 tutorial. My name is Tom with WizardTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about the HTML5 base element or tag, however you'd like to refer to it. The base element provides a default URL to resolve relative URLs. So what does that mean? What it means is we provide a starting point URL to um, for the rest of our URLs in our document. The base URL or base element goes in the head section. Now, I prefer to put it right below the head opening head element tag here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, we'll look at the syntax first. So, opening caret base, closing caret. That's the syntax, all right? Now, we got to provide it with a attribute or two attributes. You can use either attribute if you like, but we're going to start with href. We have seen this before with a tags. So, we'll give an href and what I'm going to do is give it HTTP uh, wizardtutorial.com backslash glossary. Now this is a list of our glossary terms on our website. And then give it another backslash. Alright, so this is our default URL for our links that are going to be in our body here. So when I provide a link down here, um, if I don't provide a full link here like this, it's going to go and look in this area. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to pause the video for a second because I didn't bring up a browser window. Hold on. Sorry about that. I was a little unprepared for this tutorial. So we're going to provide a link down here. We're going to do a tag href equals and let's do doc type. Oops. If I can spell doc type. Close this out and we'll do doc type here. Give it a name and close out the a tag. I'm going to save this. So what's going to happen is we're going to read this, uh, the browser's going to read the base tag here and it's going to say, okay, any link in here, I'm going to append this or add this to the end of the link up here. All right, so let's give this a try. Let's see how it works. Refresh my browser and we get Doctite. Now when I click on it, it's going to take us to wizardtutorial.com eventually. There we go. Takes us to Doctite. Alright. So that's what it does. Um, now, let's try a different one. And hold on one second. I just closed my browser window. There we go. Let's add another one here. We're going to do another one right below it so you got a better understanding. A href. Just like a regular link, let's do h1 to look at the glossary term for h1 heading tag. And we'll do h1 heading tag. And we'll save that. Bring my browser back over to you guys. Refresh it. And we got the h1 heading tag. Now when I click on that, it's going to take us to the h1 heading glossary term. Website's being slow. And there we go h1 heading tag all right pretty simple right so now what happens if we go to something that doesn't have this same exact URL for example we're gonna to go to tutorials and the tutorials uh, doesn't contain glossary so let's go ahead and do that and see what happens H -A. href equals Tutorials. Close it out. And we'll say tutorials. And close out the A tag. Save that. Go back to my. And here's the link for tutorials. Click on that. Now watch. Oh, not found. 404. What happened? If you look here in the um, URL bar. Uh, URL bar. WizardTutorial.com glossary tutorials. Well, we don't have that. So how would we get there if I want to use this in my document, but I still want to use glossary? Well, to do this, we're going to have to actually write out the URL. So HTTP backslash, or colon backslash backslash WizardTutorial.com and backslash then tutorials. We'll save that. Bring this 
back over, go back to our document here and click on tutorials. And now it's going to bring it up. Could not be any slower than that. Boom. That's how we do it. And how did we do that and why did we do that? Well, first off, if our files look like this or they could look like this, because this is normal on static websites, or could look like this if you're using PHP. So if our files look like this and they have no other um, URL in front of it, it's going to go to this location up here, all right? But since tutorials is um, not part of the glossary file folder, I should say, folder, it's not contained in there, then we have to provide a full link to it. All right. So let's just review real quick. Base takes. Oh, I forgot to talk about target. We could also do target. All right, and we'll do uh, blank. Open up a new window for every link. Now these links right here are not going to work, so we'll just take these out real quick because we're not providing a base URL. Now, when I click on this one, it's going to open it in a new browser window because that's what blank target does. We haven't really talked about targets yet, but um, we will cover them eventually. So I click on it, you see a new tab popped open, and it's going to open in that way. All right. So when we put a target up here, for every link within our website, it's going to open a new tab or a new window based on whatever browser you use. All right. When we put a href a link in here like http tutorial.com it's going to open uh, whatever links do not have a full URL down here all right so now in this case if I took away this right here and saved it and went over here, refreshed, and clicked on tutorials again. It's going to open up a new browser window, but it's also going to take me to tutorials. So I hope you guys understand what it does here. And it, it can speed up your process, but it also can be very confusing. If you do not have your, your URLs set correctly, you're going to have a lot of broken links. So if you have any questions about the HTML base element or tag, please leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at... Um, wizardtutorial.com and we'll see you in the next one.